What's up everybody, son of Melbalgia. Uh, this isn't really a review so much as a showcase. I uh, recently made this uh, custom, excuse my squeaky chair, this custom uh, Tarzan action figure out of a 112 scale seamless body by uh, Fison in the uh, TB League series. I'm just kind of showing it off here. I posted some pictures on my Instagram and he just looks so good in photos. Uh, I debated not doing a review or a showcase, but I figured maybe someone would like to make one. And uh, not so long ago, I reread Tarzan of the Apes and a little bit of some other of the classic Edgar Rice Burroughs novels. And I've had people actually ask me, of all the characters you could do, why would you make Tarzan? Uh, he's so, I guess, and I guess my answer is he's so ridiculously uh underrepresented not just in the action figure community but in every community really um i don't know he uh okay tarzan is one of those characters if you're doing photos for action figure photography like i do and you read the books you realize there are endless endless possibilities of pictures you could put tarzan in all right this dude has been to Okay, he's not only Lord of the Jungle, okay, he's he's been to Mars, he's fought aliens, he's teamed up and fought alongside aliens, he's been to the land that time forgot, alright, he's fought and defeated dinosaurs, he's toppled governments, he's taken down dictators, he has changed entire worlds, he's a badass underrated character, and when I remember I first saw these uh, these TB League bodies, I said, you know what? That would be a great Tarzan, but I couldn't figure out what hair, what face. Well, in case you haven't noticed, and please excuse my finger, I actually cut it open when I was working on a, uh, a custom Mortal Kombat Kano action figure. Um, what I did was I used the face that actually came on the body because it, it looks stoic and it doesn't look like anyone specifically. And I used a Mafex Justice League Aquaman hairpiece. I just used uh, hot water and some heat to get it off, and I painted it. I painted it black, and then I did a brown dry brush over it. And it turned out really nice, and I, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get this on camera 100%. But uh, it turned out really nice. Um, the issue, I wanted to put some battle scars on him. It's not that important. There are no specific scars he has other than over his eyebrow, which I, I did get a little bit there. Um, I put like some minor nicks and scars on him just to kind of give it more character here and there. So just kind of break up the, uh, you know, but the issue is paint doesn't really stay on these bodies very well because they're made of just really soft latex. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But I really love the fact that I can give him, or I'm sorry, get him in to the uh, the crouching pose, like he's, you know, like he's walking with the apes, or he's eating with the apes, or he's doing anything with the apes, and uh, I think that is really, really cool, so I took some pictures of him posed like this earlier, and he just looks really, really good. This body works so well for a Tarzan, this thing doesn't want to balance now for some reason. There we go. He works so ridiculously well for a Tarzan. And uh, I made the spear. I was going to order one, but I decided to make one myself. I actually used one of my uh, paint brushes, and I nicked it up and beat it up and made it look like, you know, old wood. Can't really get it to focus good. What I did was the same material I used for his loincloth there, I used to make vine wrap here. I smothered everything in glue. I painted this, the head silver because it was actually like a yellow. I don't even know what it came with. Probably some dumbass lantern figure or something I bought a long time ago. But uh, I took that and I glued it to it. I wrapped this. I smothered everything in glue. Then I painted it the way I wanted it. I did this all in brown with a brown. I'm sorry, all in black with a brown dry brush. Then the heavy brown on the stem here. To, that's three shades of brown there. I'm not just not getting on camera very good. And then I painted this mostly green for vine wrap. Um, now, I did something similar with the loincloth. I didn't want it to be just a brown loincloth like some lazy piece of shit. So 
I actually tried my best to make the loincloth look more like some kind of animal hide, maybe like a leopard or maybe even a snake because it actually has a snake texture to it. And uh, if you look at it, it's not all one color. It looks dirty, it looks worn, it looks leathery. Um, it does have more of like an animal skin like texture to it, which is really what I wanted. It's what I was going for and I'm really hoping this is showing up okay on camera. It looks like it's showing up all right. It, it works It works so well and uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the pictures I've taken with him. They just look fantastic. I was actually surprised at how well he turned out. And if anyone was wondering about this diorama, the tree and this piece and just this entire scene here, except for the background, was made by a good friend of mine named David Drape. Um, you can follow him on Instagram. You can look him up on YouTube. He is very talented. He is phenomenal. He is creative. He does tutorials on his YouTube channel. He's fantastic. I think on YouTube it's David Drape 1, I think. Um, he's great. So look him up. Um, he hasn't really been doing any commission work lately. I had this done, I think, last year. But anyway, uh, this is. I'm not going to bother reviewing the articulation. If you know anything about Five Cylinder TB League, you know, you know the basic articulation. You can get it pretty much any pose. The only gripe I have is the lack of real swivel with the hands and feet. You can't really do a whole lot. You can do more with the feet than you can with the hands. That's my only gripe. Everything else, I mean, I do wish there was like a swivel here, but it can be worked with like, you know, like that. But I love the way it looks. And uh, I was a little hesitant about using a seamless body, but I said, you know what? Tarzan's like a 90% naked character, so I'm going to actually, I'm just going to, put him on this body and he looks so good I really really enjoy this figure this is one of my favorite customs I've made um, given how many photo opportunities there are for this character it may wind up being my favorite I mean he can fight you can have him fighting dinosaurs fighting aliens fighting monsters fighting hunters fighting governments fighting men in suit and tie fighting gorillas fighting cheetahs fighting panthers fighting lions it literally goes on and on and on i'm actually working on getting some animals for him i'm looking into uh maybe some of the lantern jumanji toys because they were actually they were supposed to be scaled with uh smaller three and three quarter figures but they they were too big. Like the lion's like ten inches long. I think that's gonna work really good with this. Um I'm gonna get probably a couple of NECA Kongs with different head sculpts to use mainly as Kerchak and his brother whose name escapes me right this second. But uh Kerchak was the abusive so called adopted father figure in Tarzan's life in the novels. Um and I need a real big mean looking ape. I'm probably gonna do like a black and dark gray dry brush on to make him look more African ape like instead of King Kong like um, because they're mostly like you know silverbacks and black gorillas and things of that nature so I'm going to be doing that I'm definitely going to be getting a leopard and a cheetah and a lion a lot of different scaled monkeys and apes to pose him around I would also like to get a stone throne so I'm going to be looking for a customizer to do maybe a stone throne for I may just be able to find one I don't know I may not have to commission one at all but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And he did come with the extra hands. And uh, he came with uh, the two gripping hands. Well, this is actually a fisted hand. But he came with two gripping hands, two fisted hands, two, like, gun-holding hands. And this little pair of black underwear, which I have absolutely no use for. But I do have something in mind to do with it. So I'll see where that goes. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, this isn't much of a review. It's more of a showcase. And... I'm really pleased with this figure. I think it turned out really well. I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments. And what what classic character do you think is sadly underrated in the current action figure market and community that would you like to see made? Maybe I can get some ideas and I can do it. I mean, I'm always looking for cool projects to work on. This was just one that I feel was overdue. So what would you guys like to see made? Is, is Tarzan a character you're interested in? If there was an actual Tarzan figure made, would you buy it? Um, the only Tarzan line of action figures that I know of are like old Mego toys from like the 70s and the old Trim Masters uh, Tarzan the Epic Adventures line, um, which actually were based on the novels. They're really cool. I've actually considered collecting them myself. I just don't really come across them very often. But what do you guys think of 
this figure. What do you guys think of Tarzan in general? Have you guys seen the movies? Which one's your favorite? My personal favorite is uh, Legend of Tarzan starring Alexander Skarsgård because it was the closest to the novels. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, give me a like and a subscribe if you're brand new. My Instagram, as always, will be in the description below as, long, uh, as well as my music page. Please give me a follow, give me a like, give me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm always down to talk toys with people, so let's shoot some shit between each other, all right? Thanks for watching, and as always, peace out.